Eddie, why do we care about another gold futures contract? I know, uh, Mark, it's not, it's not an, it's not an uh, easy, easy environment to launch uh, gold contracts. We've seen a few of these come and go over the, uh, over the last few years. Um, and even here in London, there's been, there's been some challenges. But um, really, there's pressure from the regulators. And uh, the, the, the way that gold is traded in London, which is still uh, over the counter and bilateral uh, off exchange between, between counterparties, mm. Um, it just doesn't seem viable uh, towards the future, or, or many think so. Um, so the, the, while the, the OTC market is, 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 is busy overalling the way that is, it does business, at the same time we've got uh, people like the London Metal Exchange, uh, along with partners like you mentioned, like Goldman Sachs and uh, the World Gold Council, significant players getting together to, to launch this gold contract. So we'll see how it goes. Well, it's really fascinating, Eddie. It's a 350-year-old market in London, and you put together a great timeline, and we have have some of that not all 350 years of it but right back from the beginning when Isaac Newton sort of debuted the trading of gold so how did it take so long for this to, to happen for London well right I mean it um, Vonnie as you say uh, first of all a, a lot of help for my friends in getting that getting that together <laughs> I wasn't sure. there when they when they when they put it together uh, 350 years ago but um, no, look, um, the, the London Metal Exchange in particular has been, has been after the gold market for a long, long time. Uh, somebody said to me when I was doing my research that it's, it's, it's been like the gestation period of an elephant. It's, they've, they've really worked hard, they've tried for a long time to get this together. Um, so there seems to be a, 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 lot, of, a lot of will, um, but whether they can make it work, uh, that remains to be seen. Why will the LME make a success of it, which is secondary to what you were just saying, Eddie, whereas Intercontinental Exchange and CME Group, they've had mixed results luring business to futures? Right, ac absolutely. Um, in London, gold has always been done mm. one way, and that's, and that's, that's between counterparties. Um, being on exchange imposes costs, um, but in, in the current environment, it, it may be more efficient. Mm. Uh, you mentioned CME. I mean... The biggest challenger to this would be whether uh, people, if, if people want futures, they could just trade on COMEX in New York. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the biggest question mark, is whether they want this. Still, um, looking, at the, looking at, the, at the numbers coming through this morning, uh, you know, it was a slow start. They said they had a, 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 a staged rollout. But uh, in the last hour or so, it's really picked up, and we've, we've, we've now had uh, 500 lots traded, which is about uh, 50,000 ounces of gold. Mm. I compare that with 19 million ounces so far today on, on, on COMEX. It's not huge, but it is, it is starting to pick up. 